Good morning, folks. It's March 16, 2019. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. The air temperature is in the low 30s. Water temperature is 38.6 degrees. I'm going to try to do some corking today for crappie. I've come in the back of a cove, graft along, saw some fish on the bank. Uh, believe it or not, they'll get shallow this time of year. I've uh, got a, just a fixed cork with a little homemade jig underneath it. I'm using my live scope to kind of follow them along. I'm just going to throw out uh, with the cork and the jig and see if I can catch a few. Hope I can uh, catch the action on the camera. I don't know how well it'll pick up that cork, uh, but we're going to go fish and see if we can catch a few. All right, I've got some fish on the live scope just right over here off of this bare bank. It's shown them to be down about five feet. I've got, as I said, just a fixed cork. I got my outlaw nine foot two inch rod. I love this little rod for corking. And I've got just a little homemade jig uh, that I tied myself, sort of uh, blue and white and orange head, 132nd ounce and some orange flash around it. I know nothing about tying jigs. I just got on YouTube, figured out how to do it a little bit. It's real amateurish, but let's see if we can catch one. Well, that, <laughs> okay, you're gonna think that's staged. That didn't take very long. Little one, not what we're after. A lot of times these concrete, these old concrete boat ramps, they'll, they'll heat up. That sun hits them and they'll heat up and it'll draw fish in. The water's a little warmer. You just have to experiment with your depth. See where they want it. See what bait they want. I don't like fishing this deep. I think they're shallower than that. Just got a little split shot above my little 32nd ounce jig head to get it down a little quicker. That would be a fish right there. There's a the little nibble. Come on. There he is. There he is. Just had to tease him into taking it. Not a bad little fish. Right in the top of the mouth. We'll put that one in the box. Put it on my little trusty stringer. Caught another one before I turned the camera on. It's a pretty nice little black in that same spot there. I 
All right, let's go see if we can find a bigger group of fish. Okay, I've moved. I came in here with my side imaging and I found some fish out here. I came back around. I've located them with the live scope. I'm actually shallow enough. I've got my power poles down. I'm just going to sit here, see if I can catch a few of these fish. They should be about 20, 25 feet out off the left front of the boat here. There he is, right where he showed on the screen. That's a crappie. Nope, yep, nope, white bass. That's the problem, these fish finders. They don't always tell you exactly what kind of fish they are. Not what I'm looking for. If that's what we found, we're going to have to move on. Let's try it again. Well, my little hand-tied jig will catch a white bass, too. Oh, there's another one. See if it, it feels like a white bass, too. Shows you how much I know. Nice little crappie. All right, that'll work. We'll put that in the stringer. All right, so we got some fish mixed in here together. Some white bass and some crappie. Put a little crappie nibble on there with my little hair jig. See if we can get another one out of that bunch. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick up that cork or not. There he is. Well, they're just kind of stacked up out there. What do we got? Crappie. All right. It's a nice crappie. Nice fish. What a great day. The wind's just barely blowing. I'm able to power pole down, stay in this spot. If those fish will hold out there for a while, we'll catch a few. I'm gonna put another nibble on there. I don't know if they need it or not, but don't fix it if it's not broken. Just kind of work that jig a little bit. Come on, fish.
These fish just grouped up, suspended out here in the middle of nowhere, kind of out off a secondary point. Point comes up shallow, a little deeper on both sides. They're kind of hanging right out on the edge where it starts to shallow up. All right, my live scope tells me they're more towards the front of the boat now. I think they're just moving. Let's see. I think that's a school of fish just roaming. Oh, it's gone. It's where is it? <laughs> Sitting here, I had my line wrapped around my transducer cord trying to get it loose and caught a fish even stupid can catch fish all right that's small but it's a keeper trying to restock my freezer all right this is fun i'm not going to put a nibble on see if it makes any difference Live scope showing fish right out in front of us. I don't know if you can see that or not. 25 feet all the way up to 15 feet. So, little corks right out there in the midst of them. Looks like they're down about five to six feet deep. There he is. Got him. Boy, they're right out in front of the boat. They're not, not very far away. Come here. These aren't huge, but we're going to take them home with me. All right. No nibble. So they'll bite it without it. I've just got clear line when I'm corking. Of course, you don't need to see the you don't need to see the line. So what is that? Four feet deep, eight pound clear floor carbon line. Let's see if we can get another one. Give it a little twitch. There he is. And boy, they're right in front of the boat. What a perfect day for this. You can just sit still, don't have to run the trolling motor. All about the same size. Boy, he ate it too. He ate it. Let's see. Let's just take a measurement. What do we got? These little rascals. Well, ten and a half inches. Not bad to take home. Would you keep a mess of ten and a half inch fish? I will. All right. Let's see if they're still there. Let's see what the live scope says. I'll rotate this head around. There's some run out there. Looks like there's some out to the right side of the boat. Ooh, there they are right there. They've moved. All right, they've moved. Now I'll fish right in front of where my trolling motor's pointing. 
That's where that transducer's pointed. Come on, I know you're out there. I can see you. See you on the live scope. There it is. Come on. Come on. Might have to put a nibble back on. Oh, they're right up here by the boat now, according to the live scope. Should be some right here in front of us. There he is, too. In the old life. Let's see if we can find them there. Oh, they kind of moved out that way. All right. Let's see if that fellow right out there. Those fish look like they're right at the six foot depth mark. Six to eight feet's the range. I'm well up above them. See if they'll be aggressive enough to come up and get it. Yep, sure will. Sure will. Oh, that may be a white bass. Yep, a white bass will come get it. Away. Okay, I've lost them on the live scope. They've kind of moved off of here, so I'm going to I'm gonna hit my power poles. Pull those babies up and we're gonna look around. Okay, uh, we've scouted around here, tried a different bait, different depths. These fish are, have disappeared. They're not on the screen. That school's moved out, so we're gonna move, see if we can locate some more. Okay, folks. I've been graphing for about two hours. I have not found any fish. There are a few fish around this dock, but very few. But it's the best I've seen. So I'm going to give it a try here a little bit, see if we can pick one up. one on wasn't paying attention looking at my graph all right finally caught another one boy it's not very big but after what I've been seeing on the graph I'm happy to have it Okay, folks, I've had a tough time locating fish today. Uh, the groups of fish are few and far between, as far as I can tell. I can find big balls of shad, but I'm not finding a lot of fish around them. Um, caught a few fish on the cork. I'm no cork expert, that's for sure, but uh, kind of happy that I caught a few on my little homemade jig. Had fun, it's turned out to be a nice day, but I'm going to the house. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope you'll subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Thanks for watching.